Well, good news and bad news. If you are a fan who likes to go to concerts, well, you may be able to do that again soon. However, that will come with a price, and that price will be you receiving a mandatory corona vaccine. We're going to get into the details, guys. Before I go any further, if you enjoy the daily content I put out for you here, guys, on YouTube, I encourage you guys, you can help support the channel. People always ask me, what can I do to help you out? all the YouTube censorship and suppression. You guys can help me out over on Patreon by signing up for as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description also gets you access to over 25 exclusive podcasts where I talk more about sensitive information. You get the alerts for anything that goes out on a Patreon, unlike YouTube, where you're not going to be notified of all the videos that I put out. Even if you have that bell selected because YouTube doesn't like me, but I know you guys do like me. So when you get done watching me here, Browse back, check what you missed. Please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. So everyone's using this phrase lately. We're going to get life back to normal again. We're going to get back to normal because the vaccine is going to get us back to normal. It's not really going to get us back to normal at all. It's not. It's going to make things more difficult, especially, well, if you like attending concerts. A new report coming out that Ticketmaster, who's lost a lot of money, by the way, with everything going on right now, not being able to run shows, they are working on a plan right now to get people back into shows once more. However, however, this would require that fans who want to purchase tickets for concerts would have to show proof that they have received the corona vaccine or that they have tested negative for corona 72 hours before the event. Now, how this would work is that fans would use the Ticketmaster app along with another app, which this has been talked about, others out there called Health Pass and many others as well, that will have your medical information on that. It will show and have, show, have proof that you've received a corona uh, test and also a vaccine. That would work in conjunction with the Ticketmaster app. And then if everything checks out, you know, of course, you would have to give a lab permission to share your medical info if you get tested or if you get the vaccine. That would then be shown to Ticketmaster. And at that point, you would be issued tickets to the concert. I, I mean, it's crazy to even think that we're even talking about this, but we are. This is a reality. Now, this is they're in the early stages of this right now, but they're in talks because, as you guys know, the announcement was made that they're, the vaccine is 90% effective and that they're hoping to roll it out to the most of the Americans by late spring of 2021. So these industries are getting ready for the possible return of live events. But like I've said before, a lot of people are worried about, well, a president will mandate, whoever the president is can mandate the vaccine. Look, whether they do or they don't, it doesn't matter. These businesses can mandate whatever they want. It doesn't need to come as a mandate from you know the federal end. It does not. Any business, any local business, whether it's Ticketmaster, whether it's a grocery store, whoever it may be, they can make it mandatory or not for either their employees or their shoppers to have to be vaccinated before they can enter that store. Sounds a lot like Revelation chapter 13 in the Bible when it talks about the mark, in the, the mark of the beast. This is all conditioning you for that, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the last days now. You know, to think that, look, if you, if you don't want to get a corona test, and you don't want to be vaccinated, you won't be able to go to a concert. Plain and simple. If this plan goes through with what they're working on right now and, you know, with the apps and everything like that, being able to show proof, well, your concert days are over. And I love concerts. I've been to a bunch of them in my life. I'd love to go again. But I have no interest in getting a test and I have no interest in getting a vaccine whatsoever. But like I also mentioned, this is going to apply to other things as well, not just, you know, going to a concert. No, more everyday life things like simply going into the grocery store. What's going to happen then? You can't enter because you right now you can't get in unless you wear a mask. So the next thing is, well, if you don't want to wear the mask, well, then you got to get the vaccine. Well, if you don't want to get the vaccine, how do you buy or sell? See where this is all going? See where it's all leading to? Be in prayer. Be in prayer, ladies and gentlemen, for what's happening because we are living in unprecedented times right now. We are so close to the return of Christ. This whole entire world will eventually be handed over to the Antichrist on a silver platter. And I think that that's sooner than we all think. I'll put some more information on this in the description. I want to hear from you guys. Would you, in fact, get a vaccine to attend a concert? Would you go take a test before you go to a concert? I want to hear. What do you guys think? Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.